The United States' unclear crypto policies have led businesses like Ripple to explore investing outside the nation. Brad Garlinghouse has claimed, the Ripple CEO advised the U.S. to follow the U.K. and Singapore. How do you think this will affect the cryptocurrency and the U.S. economy? We will answer these questions in today's video. Judge Annalisa Torres denied the sex's attempt to seal the disputed Hyman papers, allowing Ripple to postpone their release until June 13. According to a court order, the documents, which include former SEC Division Director William Hyman's 2018 summit speech declaring Ethereum, ETH, and Bitcoin, BCE not securities, were expected to be released on June 6. The court order on September 9, 2022, specified that both parties had precisely 20, one days following the sealing judgment to produce public redacted summary judgment materials. Since the judge ruled on May 16 Defense Counsel James, Defense Counsel James Key. Phelan anticipated these discoveries on June 6. On May 19, Phelan tweeted that Ripple and the securities regulator requested a one-week extension until June 13, 2020, to file public, redacted versions of cross motions for summary judgments and accompanying exhibits, which includes the Hinman materials. As he later confirmed, the judge approved this request, which the parties filed in light of the voluminous nature of the materials and redactions as was the case with the previous expert testimony motions, called Dobert motions, which were significantly less voluminous, the letter states. According to pro-Ripple lawyer John Deaton, the Hyman email release will include Brett Redfern, SEC director of the Division of Trading and Markets, who told Hyman's that this speech is going to lead to more market confusion, as Deaton told Fox Business journalist Alir Tourette on May 21. Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderotti, previously cited a U.S. Supreme Court opinion that legal teams and courts should adapt factors from old cases to fit the evolving legal landscape, suggesting that the Howey test should be interpreted within the common law framework. Last week, he cited a 1976 Supreme Court ruling in which the SEC ruled that art lithographs offered for investment were not securities if the vendor had no post-sale contractual commitments to the buyer. Reasonable grounds to conclude that X Europe does not satisfy all elements of the Howey analysis and is therefore not a security for purposes of the federal securities laws. The email states, The sex's case against Ripple hinges on X and other cryptocurrencies meeting the Howey test's definition of securities. Thus, any SEC official or internal document stating that X is not a security might be fatal to its argument. Deaton added that the sex representative may have been quoting another XARP study. Pro-crypto lawyer Bill Morgan believed in SEC attorney sent the message. Morgan added, most likely in SEC attorney, given how many were involved and commented on Hyman's speech expressing his personal opinion. Many expect the SEC to disclose Hyman emails to clarify these suspicions. Ripple has made many platform growth-focused announcements in the previous week, Ripple acquired Medico for $250 million. Focus Bob Rass, Sologenic co-founder, tweeted on the SEC's cryptocurrency rules as the Ripple. SEC dispute nears its conclusion. Ross said the SEC's strong posture is already having Ripple effects on the crypto business. He claims that the agency's classification of practically all digital assets as securities shows a lack of understanding of these unique technology, causing unneeded legal fights for businesses like Ripple. Raz thinks the sex's aggressive pursuit of crypto ventures, many without justification, has slowed its advancement. He cautions that it might stifle innovation and drive many enterprises overseas. He argues Ripple must deal with this harsh regulatory environment. Raz compares the SEC to a typical legislature applying obsolete rules to a technology it barely understands. He argues that treating digital assets as securities ignores their unique characteristics and possibilities. Raz suggests that the SEC should have created a regulatory framework tailored to these assets. Raz also notes that the Ripple litigation has revealed SEC irregularities. He proposes that not all digital assets are securities. He believes Coinbase may be affected by these developments. Raz urges the SEC to forsake its enforcement, heavy strategy, and adopt a regulatory system that promotes innovation and protects investors. He warns, at the Dubai Fintech Summit, Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinghouse announced a $1 billion investment to extend its services.
Garlinghouse says Ripple wants to develop organically and via acquisitions beyond cross-border payments and liquidity. Invest in blockchain-friendly markets. Crypto law founder and pro plea lawyer John Deaton challenged the sexist claim that William Hinman's 2018 contentious speech was only his opinion. Deaton tweeted yesterday that Hyman's contentious statement was influenced by senior SEC officials and not his own view. The pro XRP lawyer claims the speech comprises 63 emails and 52 drafts from prominent SEC officials. Deaton commented on his July 2022 tweet on the document's email chain. Deaton revealed last year that Hyman's document's email chain excludes just the ethics office and ethics chief Dana Serrano. Deaton's new tweet drew crypto community responses. Former SEC lawyer Mark Fagel remarked on the article. Fagel reminded Deaton about SEC notion. Fagel said that any SEC official's comment that was neither an enforcement action or a regulation agreed on by five commissioners represents the speaker's opinions alone. He inquired why people don't comprehend SEC's viewpoint. Deaton said that people grasp the notion. He contended that the SEC usually makes transactional arguments, which Judge Sarah Netburn called out. The U.S. District Judge previously accused Commission Counsel of lawlessness. Deaton's new comments emphasize Hinman's 2018 Yahoo Finance All Markets Summit speech issue. In his remarks, Hyman deemed Ethereum and Bitcoin non securities after Ripple demanded the documentation behind the speech. The crypto community took notice. The sexy speech related debates are known as Hyman's papers. After Ripple referenced the paper, the sex said Hyman's speech represented his view, not the commission's. Deaton disputes this. The SEC altered its position when Judge Sarah Netburn dismissed its petition to seal the documents. As reported by the crypto, basic judge Annalisa Torres just unsealed Hyman's materials. Europe has been a significant beneficiary of the SEC's crypto business misunderstanding. According to Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, crypto enterprises must invest abroad due of misunderstanding. Garlinghouse whose business purchased Swiss crypto startup Medico on May 17, told CanBC that the sex's crackdown would restrict his company's contacts with U.S. corporations and residents. Unfortunately, the SEC crackdown has encouraged companies like Ripple to invest more abroad. For the same reason, 95 of our consumers are non-U.S. Yeah, Garlinghouse remarked. The CEO called Ripple's purchase of Swiss firm Medico a perfect fit in terms of clients and location. Medico, bought for $250 million, is anticipated to provide Ripple access to its A-list customers, including Ben P. Paribas, City, and Societe Generale, as well as boost its international reach. When questioned about the ideal crypto regulatory structure post, OFF's collapse, Garlinghouse advised that U.S. authorities look to the U.K., U.A., and Singapore, who have stated how they would handle digital assets Garlinghouse said clarity allows entrepreneurs and investors to engage constructively with regulators. Internal SEC communications suggest Ripple's XSP coin may not be a security. These communications suggest that XRP may not meet the Howey test, a condition for investment contracts. John Deaton, a legal pundit, discovered these communications in Ripple's opposition and reply papers footnotes. Ripple's legal team's inattention to these communications consequences perplexed Deaton. Exhibit 220 emails suggest that XRP may not pass the Howey test. Deaton acknowledges that the email's importance was first overlooked because to their placement inside a phrase addressing independent market players' sex analysis that XRP was not a security. Ripple, the payment company, and the sex may be negotiating a settlement amid the legal battle. Ripple asked a one-week extension to file public, redacted versions of its cross. Motions for summary judgment and supporting exudgment and supporting exhibits, including the Hinman documents. These SEC papers highlight former SEC director William Hinman's 2018 statement declaring Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Betetera, and Ethereum, ETH not securities. Attorney and excerpt supporter John Deaton expects the SEC will continue the lawsuit when the Hinman docs are unsealed. He believes that Ripple would have settled before receiving these materials. Deaton believes SEC Chair Gary Gensler, who opposes the crypto business, will see the case through, saying,